Hello everyone. Today we are going to cover chapter 6 Circular Motion. I'm Najah Bakri, your teacher for today. First of all, we need to know what is circular motion. Circular motion is the motion of an object moving in a circle with a constant speed. We have a lot of applications in our daily life. For example, roller coaster, Ferris wheel, and planets orbiting the sun. Well, we have a lot more examples in our daily life. So let's take a moment together to think about it. Hey guys, can you thinking of any already? Hmm, miss, what about the electrons orbiting the nucleus? Good one, Brian. Miss, circular track? That one also correct, Lisa. Good job guys, you have done pretty well so far. Now let's move on to centripetal acceleration. So what is centripetal acceleration? Centripetal acceleration is defined as the acceleration of an object moving in a circular path towards the center of the circular motion. Centripetal itself means towards the center. Or, mathematically, centripetal acceleration can be defined as A is equal to V square over R or A is equal to R omega square is equal to V omega. Now, here is the crucial part. As you can see, the velocity of an object moving in a circular path is constant in magnitude, but it keeps changing direction. Hence, when that is happening, there are always centripetal acceleration pointed to the center of the circle. Also, the direction of the velocity and the centripetal acceleration is always tangential to each other. Let's try a simple experiment. First, hold a glass and spin it in a circle at a constant speed like this. Look! Where the candle flame pointed to? It's towards the center of the circle. Now we have covered the basic concept of circular motion. For extra information, you can check this video out. Before we end the lecture today, let's test your understanding about today's lesson. Scan the code here for some exercises. All the best and till next time.